welcome to between that code channel uh, guys in today's session we'll see how we can uh, uh, configure stub area and totally stub area and what actually uh, is a stub area and totally stub area so uh, let me start the routers in the meantime uh, a stub area is a kind of area uh, that uh, should not have a uh, uh, the routing updates or any queries about uh, routes uh, sent to that area right for example consider that uh, in our scenario uh, uh, this stub area is the uh, last end of our uh, uh, company or our network right it is not uh, connected to any uh, further routes so uh, and uh, these routers uh, router uh, R2, router R1, they are further connected to other routes or uh, other leaf nodes or uh, internet, right? So whenever any uh, route goes on the uh, route, route goes down on uh, any router, router should send uh, the queries to uh, routers uh, towards left hand side but not towards uh, right hand side because a stub area is getting all the information from these routers by itself it does not have much information about the new routes so uh, it is getting all the uh, routing updates from uh, r2 and r3 so if any route is down uh, to, uh, towards uh, R1 and R2, that query for uh, routing update should be sent to other routers, not to uh, stub area. So uh, to uh, we can configure uh, this area as stub area so that it will help uh, to reduce the uh, routing table size as well as to reduce the queries of uh, routing updates okay so that's why we configure a stub area so let me take the console session to all the routers and uh, let's connect to r3 and then r4 so you can see that we have uh, ospf conf configured and uh, let me delete this uh, we will uh, make ospf as a uh, number of router ospf process id will be the number of router okay because ospf process is locally significant so it doesn't make any difference what process id we use for ospf so we will be using eigrp uh, on uh, r1 and uh, ospf in uh, rest of the routers okay so we'll have to do redistribution only but that is uh, not uh, related to purpose if we want uh, we may or may not do uh, this eigrp task our main task is to uh, configure uh, how should uh, how can we configure area as a stub area let me go to r1 first of all let's see uh, if we have ip addresses configured show ip and brief exclude unassigned ip addresses are configured let's also check if we have any protocol running show ip protocol no protocol is running show ip int brief exclude show ip int brief exclude unassigned ip address is already configured now let's check on R3. Show IP in brief exclude unassigned. Show IP protocol no protocol running on any of the routers. Show IP in brief exclude unassigned okay only one ip configured on r4 so now uh, we will not be running eigrp uh, for now uh, we'll configure only uh, ospf on all the routers right so let's go to router ospf1 our uh, network uh, 12.1.1.0 area area is in one router id 
oh i'm sorry this is a router uh, r4 so it's a, a ip address should be not a 12 uh, it should be 34110 let's make it uh, no let's make it 34 and area is 2 right we are on r4 so let's give it a router id 4.4.4.4 and right now let's go to r1 config t and uh, here the router process uh, should also be uh, uh, okay let's do one thing we can keep the router ospa process id same on all the routers right it doesn't matter so we'll keep uh, router ospf uh, process ospf1 on all the routers so let's give it 12.1.1.0.0.0.0.255 area 1 router id 1.1.1.1 and right config to router ospf1 network 12.1 uh, let me check uh, id we used for okay 12.1 so 12.1.1.0.0.0.255 area 1 okay and the other network 23 is in area 0 so 23 will put in area 0 router id 2.2.2.2 see clear ip ospf process yes okay we reset the uh, ospf process because we gave the router id after adding the network command so let's write it down and now go to r3 r3 interface 1 is in area 0 and 1 is in area 2 config 2 router ospf 1 network 23.1.1.0 0.0.0.255. This area is in zero, uh, right? And other area 34 is in area two. Thirty-four is in area two. We can see that neighborship uh, created. And right. Okay, on R4 we already configured. So uh, let's see if we have. and two end uh, routes available show ip route show ip route and do on show ip route so we can see that let's check on uh, r4 also so we have all the routes we can see that uh, we configured ospf for a 12 network 23 and 34 okay 12 uh, uh, coming uh, as a inter area route and 23 both are inter area routes and 34 is the connected route uh, to r4 now we want that uh, any kind of updates any kind of lsa updates uh, should not be sent to this stub area so we are going to make this area 2 as a stub so we'll have to uh, configure a stub area command on r4 and r3 uh, as well right so what will happen the area border router that is r3 it will send a default route to r4 so that uh, uh, r4 uh, uh, for every kind of route r4 send uh, connects to r3 and uh, Uh, no query is sent to r4 from r3 any kind of uh, lsa query right so uh, so if we will make uh, this area as stub r3 it will inject the default route in this stub area so first of all let's go on r3 config t router ospf our area was 1 area we will uh, give the command 
area 2 let's see what uh, other options are there here uh, we can uh, mention stub specify a stub area right other options uh, we have already covered like uh, authentication um, um, filter list we have done we have virtual list uh, will virtual link we have done okay so rest of the things we'll uh, cover later on and now let's uh, cover uh, this stub area command st u stub right enter okay so uh, adjacency is a reset so now let's go to r4 also config t router ospf uh, 1 area 2 stub and write now uh, we got the uh, adjacency reset message here also and adjacency came up okay full loading done now now let's see the show ip route command it's in the process show ip route show ip route okay till r2 uh, we have uh, no problem and on r3 on r4 right let's see what change has happened okay now the neighborship has come up now you see that uh, o ospf inter area and default route has been injected by r3 into uh, area 2 and and uh, 000, 000 and uh, default route is via 34113 this means that for any kind of network about which r4 does not know r4 4 will uh, connect to r r3 okay it will not uh, go anywhere else uh, for any uh, every kind of network r4 is not aware of uh, r4 will send the request to r3 and r3 will connect uh, to the rest of the world okay so this is the uh, meaning of uh, why we uh, uh, use a default uh, routes or a stub area right now no query will be sent to a stub area for any kind of uh, routes that these routers don't know and guys now we will check uh, what is a totally stub area right so for that uh, let's do one thing uh, let's uh, configure uh, eigrp on r1 so that we can see uh, what is the benefit of a totally stub area totally stubby area right so let's go to r1 and configure router eigrp 100 network 10.1.1.1.0.0.0.0.255 uh, because we have a uh, subnetting happening in a third octet so let's make it 255.255 enter right and we also have to do redistribution of ospf redistribute ospf process id 1 right and uh, eigrp uses matrix so let's use the matrix uh, default matrix uh, 100000 for uh, bandwidth and a delay uh, 100 microsecond and a reliability 255 and effective bandwidth 255 and uh, 1500 is uh, mtu right and exit now uh, let's uh, redistribute uh, process uh, ID is fun redistribute EIGRP 100 and subnets right otherwise uh, classful networks will be redistributed only so and write 
and uh, let's see show IP route and let's see if all the routes are coming on R2 okay we can see that a 10 route is coming as a E2 route because E2 is the external route here we can see that E2 is OSPF external type 2 route so same is with on R3 and let's see what is the condition on R4 uh, we are getting uh, external route are we getting external route no we are not getting right so if we configure uh, area 2 as a totally stubby right right now uh, uh, summary is uh, sent summary routes are sent uh, on uh, r4 if we configure this area as a totally stubby then uh, lsa3 will also not be sent right uh, they will be uh, summary routes uh, will be uh, routes will be sent in a summary form right not individually so the command to uh, configure uh, uh, totally stubby is conf t router ospf uh, 1 area 2 stub here we can see no summary do not send a summary lsa into stub area right this is the command and a same command will have to use on r4 also ospf1 stub area 2 stub and no summary okay that's it or this is the only um, thing we have to do the configure area as a stub or totally stub right so now we won't be getting uh, summary lsa into this area show ip route and uh, default route is already coming and show ip route okay so this was the video about uh, how we can configure any area as a stub area or totally stub area in if you like this video please uh, click on like button and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this video